Hey Legionnaires, welcome back, we're here with another NTW3 historical battle for you today and I know you guys are enjoying seeing these battles and I'm sure you're going to enjoy this one as well for sure. And today as you may be able to tell from the title, it is the Siege of Stralsund. So we are here with a, uh, a bit of a siege instead of, instead of a battle, we have a siege. And uh, we have a multinational French army here today, we've got Dutch troops, we've got Spanish troops, we've got French troops, funnily enough, and I think we have Italian troops as well, as the Siege of Stralsund was a multinational army. It's why you see various different corps, like the uh, the French 1811, we have the Dutch uh, 1799 to represent the Dutch troops, we have a uh, another, that's the Spanish army, so we have France, Prussia here, 1806, so I presume this is, um, this is sort of the closest, I guess, to the actual time of the siege that they have, they don't have an 1809 Prussian campaign. Um, and that was, uh, not 1809, 1807, sorry, 1807. 1809 is the Battle of Stralsund, where the, uh, there's a rebellion in Stralsund, and the French have to go and put it down. And then we have a Russian center over here, which looks like it's made up of Italian troops, uh, mainly, yeah, it looks like it's just made up of Italian troops, so, uh, this will certainly be an interesting one. And today they are facing the Swedes. Don't often see the Swedes on the battlefield, but they are here in great number, as you may be able to see. Like, there's a big old Landwehr unit here that looks like a well, militia unit. And they have the job of defending Stralsund. Stralsund, unfortunately, is not an actual map, but they are uh, going with one that kind of looks fairly similar. Uh, Stralsund is in a place called Pomerania, which at the time uh, was under Swedish control, but is in what is now modern-day Germany. And this is a supposedly Stralsund over here, here I believe. Um, the siege, obviously, was a French victory and saw... Pomerania come under French control, and the Swedes lost out some t to some territory there, but obviously they regained it by the end of the war. And it looks like we've got some shots already being fired, the first shots of the battle, we've got some skirmishes going off here. But yeah, I think the French lost about a thousand men or something like that, not that many men at all, and the Swedes unknown how many they lost. But and it, this could be a very, very good battle, and I'm sure that the French are going to lose more than a thousand men today. Because I have been told that there's some really good plays on both sides to make this a very, very close battle. So definitely worth sticking around to see how this one finishes. But if you are enjoying the NTW3 content and would like to see some more, do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and a comment to show your support. As always, guys, it's very much appreciated, and it really does help out the channel. But it does seem as though the Swedes are already going to be dueling here with the Spanish campaign army. We'll just call them the Spanish forces, I guess. We'll call the Dutch the Dutch. We all know what it is. If they're not Swedes, they're with the, the French today. We've got some artillery cheval here. This is like a, uh, a royal guard. You know? This looks good. They kind of got uh, old guard vibes, to be honest, I think. But they are a... Uh, that's a is that all of... No, that's a Hussar. You know, I was going to say... The Sasai unit looked like it was with the artillery. I thought, what a big artillery crew that is. Uh, talking about big things, here's a Chevrolet Lancer here. That's a big old unit. That's going to do a lot of damage to a lot of a lot of Swedish cavalry, you imagine. But yes, don't often see Sweden in uh, NTW3 battles. Certainly don't see them often in historical battles because, well, they didn't really do a lot of fighting, actually, in the Napoleonic Wars. They had a few battles here and there, and they were at, obviously, at Leipzig by the end of it. Not that they really participated, but they were there. So we'll see how they do. They've got some cuirassiers here. These guys are going to be very nasty, I'm sure. But yeah, so this is certainly going to be an interesting one. I'm interested to see how the Swedes perform and how they do against these armies. Often when I see their uh, armies when they've been in custom battles, I've seen them mass trout their like, infantry. So we'll have to see whether that, that happens again. We have Chasseur Cheval here, a big 103-man unit. Boy, a 87 one here. Got some uh, dragon deers. I presume it's just D Dutch dragoons, but they're just D in Dutch. You say dragoons like dragon deers. Apparently so. There you go. Let's see what Dutch infantry is being brought up. I mean, it's going to look great. It's the line. I feel like it's going to look like um, the French infantry, to be honest. But these, I guess, are supposed to represent the Dutch. It's a shame there are, um, are more Dutch units, and it's a shame you can't have the Dutch like faction on the French side as well. Granite deers number one. These certainly look more Dutch-like. They're in the darker blue to start with. Oh, these sappers as well definitely don't look like French sappers. They're very much Dutch sappers. 
Got lots of this if I can hear. Cavalry charging. We have French cavalry charging very early on, trying to rush these guns here. They see a Swedish army in front of them, and I think they thought, you know what, we could get that. They definitely could not get that. That is not a that is not a fight they could uh, win. That is for sure. And you can see there was in fact Swedish cab prepared, ready to uh, to deal with them as well. There's like some hussars. The big hussar unit, fair. But I mean, my favorite units of so far are definitely these uh, fusiliers of the Royal Guard. They look really nice. These are the Spanish fusiliers of the Royal Guard. They do look excellent. I actually. Big fan of this Spanish unit and this like this all the Spanish units that uh like they've mainly brought. Oh maybe these ones. These just like boring French guys. We're not interested in them. Got the light infantry espanol here, we've got grenadiers of the Royal Guard, they also look pretty good. They're getting shot up by all sorts here, they are taking casualties. But yeah, just lots of light infantry. I, I don't know how well they're really gonna do. They can't form square, that's a start. But these guard units here might do quite well. Voltigares, the Royal Guard. This actually might be my favorite one. I thought it was the Fusiliers, maybe it's the Voltigares. These guys often have a knack for looking really nice. Oh, they do look good. It looks like the Dutch are gonna move up into the right flank now to allow the Spanish to uh, kind of focus more in a certain area. And it seems like they're outnumbered for infantry, that is for sure. The, Span uh, the Swedish have in fact got a large army over here. I mean, this is their main objective to defend Strelton, so they're going to need as many troops as they can get. But yes, if you want to get involved in some NTW3 action and don't know where to get some great Sir. games or you just want to get involved Sir. in some historical battles, attack. then feel free to join the Discord. The link's down below in the description. And we've had an, a general be shot at. Francois Le Bavre has been shot at. I presume that's by a rogue cannonball. But he did lose a decent amount of his uh, of his bodyguard there. Artillery going off for the French, always looking good. But yeah, it seems as though it seems as though the French are prepared. They have got their guns up. They're firing when they need to. Oh, this is a big eight pounder here. I mean, I, it's all on the French to advance. Like, they've just got to decide where they're going to hit first. I mean, these big units here of Swedish troops, I don't know how well they'll really withstand to volleys. Also, certainly things like cavalry charges. They've got their more elite infantry behind. These guys actually look really nice. Oh, they do. These guys, these actually, you know, you know what? The actual decent troops of Sweden, you know what? Their uniforms look pretty good. Well, they've got like a light infantry unit here in green, perhaps. Yeah, they've got plenty set up here. This might be two armies. I honestly think it might be. Just from the sheer amount of troops here. Either that or Sweden is just hella cheap. Uh, which I can't believe for one second, so... We will not believe, believe in that one. Over here, it seems as though the French and the Swedish are... Almost within musket range. Seems like the French... Oh, they might be, actually. The Italian troops getting ready. They've got a tough fight ahead of them. Prepare to fire! Oh, this is Laguerre as well. Italian Laguerre. Don't often see this. They're actually retreating. Cowards. There's actually an Italian faction. I don't know why they just didn't bring them, but... Yeah, I don't know why they just didn't bring them, but maybe they just thought better units here than, like, the, uh, Velites kind of in here. I don't know. Carabineers, the Royal Guard. Who knows? But we're about to see some uh, Italian. This is a Legare unit as well. Open fire, boys. Give the order. Oh, okay. The guy next to the officer just got shot. Poor guy. Rip in peace to him. Mario's dead. There we go. Shots going off now. Lion infantry engaging. The Italian line infantry doesn't look too bad, to be fair. Not a, not a, like a big fan of it, but it's not too bad. Certainly not a fan of it because it doesn't really perform as effectively. They fight pretty, they fight pretty bravely in uh, the Napoleonic Wars, to be fair. They actually do some pretty good uh, stuff in Russia. But we've got the conscripts of the guard here. Oh yeah, I remember these guys. 
They're royal guards, but they're conscripts. I'm not quite sure how this works, but it does. So uh, I guess he's just like the young guard, really, for the Italian royal guard. That's what I'm presuming. But they, Italy is now engaged there. It seems as though we're going to see the, uh, the France army here, like the Prussian army, the main army, the actual French troops move up. Yeah, they're still not engaged over there in Stralsund. So it seems like this French army here is just going to try and smash its way through. I guess it's got to get to this ruin here. That's kind of its objective. But here we go. The Swedes open fire. And they are prepared to repel the French. They will do what the Prussians failed to do. And that is beat them in Germany. There you go, the French lines are setting up and they are prepared to respond. My gosh, it is brutal. Got Laguerre here, We've got plenty of line infantry. I imagine the French just spawned out as many troops as possible. They just spat them all out and just went, you know what, see if you can stop this. What we've got here? This is a dr dismount Dragoon unit. It's kind of cool. I don't know how good it will be, but it, it looks kind of, it looks really strange to see Dragoons with muskets. I'm not going to lie. What else we... Yes, it seems as though... It seems as though the French are just going to keep moving on forward. They've got some uh, Fusiliers, the Guard of Hesse. We saw them in the Battle of Zname. If you haven't seen that one, I fully recommend you checking that one out. Artillery still going off. Putting holes into this French infantry here. The Italians on this side seem like they're making some progress. Certainly advancing, so we could sign. Oh, we've had a melee fight over here. It looks like we've got cavalry, in fact, and also cavalry is the Royal Guard. They have managed to get in here Italian dragoons along with some just Italian guardsmen, and they've routed this Swedish right, uh, the Italian left, and sent the, uh, the Swedes reeling. They are retreating. They've got a house that they have to defend. I presume there'll be troops in it. That is uh, looking like their first, the first major blow to the, to the Swedish forces. Seems as though as well, there's a, oh my gosh, there's so much cavalry here. Look at all this cavalry. The Swedish have brought, they've brought a huge amount of cavalry. And they already looking like they're going into a bit of a firing line here with the French. It just looks like a really good defense. We've got some Chasseur Cheval coming forward. They look like they're going to go for the guns. Running into uh, stakes, that's never a good idea. Yeah, those guys just ran straight into stakes and they felt the full blow of those stakes. They got impaled on them. That's what happened to them. They got impaled. Yeah, not looking good at all on this side for Sweden. Not at the moment anyway, but there's still plenty of time in this fight. Sweden only lost a couple of units. They can inflict just the same damage on the French. This guy's kind of fighting with a top hat, look. It's kind of interesting. You can see the goons in the background, though, for the Italians. What are those sneaky guys up to? What are they up to then, eh? There's a carry fire going on back here. So they're going to be taking on a Dragoon unit or something of uh, the Swedes. Yeah, there's a Dragoon versus Dragoon. Who will come out on top? It seems like the Italians are losing this fight. Very easy to see in their bright green uniform. Oh. Anyway, we'll leave them to it. To see as oh, they actually did rather the Swedes. Wow, I am surprised. This is a bad sign now for the Swedes. They've lost their cavalry support here. I don't know if they have any more units hidden, but this uh to could go straight for the general, which is what I fear they might do. Anyway, let's go back to the center where it is starting to heat up. And as you can see, massive line battles going on right now. The French really pounding these Swedish lines. And the Swedes are being forced back in some areas. You 
Keep on hurting them, boys. You've got to do as much damage as possible. Seeing, uh, seeing Swedish cavalry, by the way, come up, and it looks like it's going to be rushing these, uh, these units here, but they can form square, a lot of these French units here, and they're going to do just that, you imagine. Here we go. Swedish cav goes in. It wasn't a great charge, but it did also stop units from forming square. They might get this uh, Fusilier unit. They can't retreat. The states here that will uh, kill a lot of their cavalry if they retreat. Oh, they're going to anyway. All right. Does it kill? I don't know. Mm, looks like it maybe does damage. One guy definitely fell. I don't know if actually their stakes do damage them. So maybe they're okay. Well, that's something I never knew. Looks like we're going to see another cavalry charge here anyway. Seems like the Swedes are undeterred by the failure of their first cavalry charge. And they're going to charge in here. Here we go. Could this be a big enough charge? I don't know. We've seen also Grenadiers push up. This is... Big, big play here by Sweden. They can break through this uh, this force here. There's like four or five units. Yeah, look, one. One unit breaking. This looks like it'll break as well. Lots of grenadiers coming in now. Oh boy, this is gonna be painful for the French. Come on, Sweden. Defeat these Frenchies. There you go. Look at that. They've routed, what, one, two, three, four units. The French uh, counter with their Chasseur Jabal. The Swedish Cavs spent, but the Swedish Grenadiers will try and hold. They're counter-charging. Cavalry. Don't know how wise an idea that is, but here they go. Units form square. But yeah, the right flank here for this uh, French centre is shattered. Our men are running, sir. And it looks like the cavalry also has been shattered. And the Swedes all of a sudden have a really good position on this French army. He's going to have to shift troops from his left over to his right. I mean, this unit here needs to start moving, really. Get over here, and they have to play defensive now. Still no movement from the Spanish and Dutch corps. They're still waiting for their moment, but the Italian corps is still moving nice. You've got Dragoons of the Royal Guard. I thought the Dragoons, the normal Dragoons are good. They're Royal Guard ones. And it looks as though Italy is sort of surrounding, slowly surrounding this army. But you can see in the very north of the map, that is what is happening. Certainly seems as though that this Swedish force here can cut off this French army. They're not careful. Is this a random artillery piece all the way out here? These dragoons might want to go and take that out. Got the Italians there with their conscripts, the guard, and the grenadiers of the Royal Guard. Oh no, these are just all, these are all just grenadiers. Military grenadiers. Okay, they are going to do some good work, you imagine. Dragoons of the Royal Guard going in. Can they take these units out? Can they form square? Looks like they can, but that might be at a price because those units there, the Grenadiers, they'll just charge. There you go. Honestly, this Dragoon might as well just go down and take this artillery piece out. It's just chilling down here. It's a big one as well. Look at the size of this gun. I mean, there's some Swedish cav waiting, but it might be what support is needed to, to help. But there you go. The, the Dragoons went in anyway. They broke the Swedish square. And it looks like it might break another unit here, but you need to be careful. Those dragoons need to get out of there when they can. I'm going to see Grenadiers, the Royal Guard, take over. And they're going to go charging in on the square. And they go. Fix bayonets, boys! And they might break that square, you know. I mean, they are Grenadiers of the Royal Guard. I'd expect no less. The cavalry now looks for another option. Could it go for this unit here? If they can form square. They need to get a volley off. So it looks like they won't get the chance. Well, I don't know. They might get the chance. Military to the Grenadiers. Military Grenadiers going in. Grenadiers still charging in here. Doing what damage they can. And the cavalry has descended on the general. And there you go. A Swedish general has died. Big losses there. And now they, these Dragoons uh, can just recharge this entire Swedish line and break it. And this is a huge loss here for Sweden. Losing four units just like that in one cavalry charge. Brutal. Really well done there by the uh, Velites of the Grenadier Guards. I'm just making up names from them now. That's what they're called now. Grenadier Guards. Yeah, the Grenadiers, the Royal Guard, doing their thing. Just get in there, just stab them up, break them instantly. All these Swedish units just trying to hold on. It's 
There's a unit in here as well. Looks like a guard unit. They're just like, don't mind us. We're just going to stand in here and hold this building. Sweden did come in with a charge as well. The French did, in fact, or the Italians did, in fact, form square. These guys need to get back to the main force. So that's what they need to do. Over on the far side as well, we are starting to see a firefight. Looks like the Dutch are engaging the, uh, the streets down here. And this is going to be a brutal fight for the streets of Strauss. And this is the main point of interest for the French. This is what they're here for. This city. Good old line battle by the coast. And then we have a bit of a fight going on inside the city. Lots of line infantry raging on here. I mean, these units here... Uh, by the way, the French have taken that building in the north that we just came from. Just to give you an idea of what's going on elsewhere. Yeah, these units here look like land bear units. They're really big sized units. So kind of give me like land bear sort of like vibes. Whether they are land bear, I don't know. But they look like they might be a good, as good as land bear. They break instantly, these guys, if they get flanked. They're holding on. The Swedes doing... I mean, the sheer number of guns they can fire on these Dutch is probably what's holding these Dutch back. But, I mean, if the cavalry did a charge, a well-timed charge, they could probably hit a lot of this un these units and break them. Whether that's a good use of the cavalry, I don't know. Possibly not. The Swedes have a lot of cavalry in reserve as well to counter. And they have their better infantry as well, ready to go into the, uh, the front lines when needed. Seems like they're engaging here as well with the Spanish, but the Spanish, I know, they are returning the fire. I was going to say, it didn't look like they were interested in fighting. But no, the Fusiliers of the Guard, they are opening up. They're smelling gunpowder in the morning. Nice shots. Got Hussars, the Royal Guard here. Spanish unit coming in. They are going through in column. And they're trying to go for the guns. It's not a bad idea, but they did break instantly. It was a clever idea just to go in column and try and go through the state. I don't know why they didn't just go where the skirmishes are. Just hit the skirmishes and hit the guns. Would have been a good idea. What have we got here? We've got Chasseurs of the uh, Cheval Legion. That's a Prussian unit. They've come in. They're flanking on here. Getting good charges onto the guns. They broke, actually, the chasseurs. I'm surprised, but they also did break the guns. And the Swedish have retreated on the center side here, and the French are bringing up... Well, I say fresh troops. Some of them might be fresh, but some of them have certainly been broken once. This is a hard fight going on here with the Prussian, like, the Prussian campaign French army against the Swedes. But they can be relieved because the Italian army over here is on the way. It has defeated a, Span a Swedish army. Anyway, we are back. Unfortunately, we did have a bit of a crash, but we are back. It's sort of where we were left off. And as you can see, the Swedish are coming forward. And they have some cavalry here. They're attacking a Legion de Strangers. I don't know what unit this is, but it's a stranger that is for sure. I guess one of the Spanish units here, I have really no idea what, I mean, I guess there's Spanish troops, but I don't know what uh, Estrangers means. But anyway, it doesn't matter, because they're not going to be on the battlefield much longer. They are getting run down here by Swedish cavalry. And the Swedish infantry also backing them up, and we have also Swedish infantry coming in against the Fusiliers of the Royal Guard. Breaking them. No, did it. I was surprised to see them break, put it like that. I mean, Swedish infantry is good, but I don't think it would beat, like, guard units. Yeah, big push hit on the center by the Swedes now. They may have lost on that far side against the Italians, but they are not going to be beaten here by the Spanish. We've got their cuirassiers in here doing as much damage as possible. They're taking on, it looks like, some grenadiers of the Royal Guard. They may be a bit more of a tougher opposition. The Spanish are setting up line infantry. They're going to put some volleys, you imagine, into these... Uh, Curiosity is trying to do as much damage as possible to them. The Spanish are in retreat and they need to get out, out of here. Let the Grenadiers hold these guys at bay for as long as possible. 
Let's go, a little unit over here. Grenadiers of the Royal Guard again. Fighting on valiantly. But the Swedes are too many. You know what? I mean, oh, I don't know. We've got Dutch Dragoons on the way, but they have just helped rout the Grenadiers of the Guard because they charge the back of their own infantry, and that does a lot of morale damage. Uh, against you. We've got more uh, Swedish cavalry coming in. These Dutch dragoons are just out of their depth. And they've been routed as well, and this is a big, big worry here now. The Swedish cav is just destroying the Spanish army right now, and it's just carrying on. Look at this. It's going to harass these lime tree, which can't form square, by the way. It's got a, a lime tree in here. Open fire, men! Hit those dragoons are right ahead of you! There you go, all of a sudden the Spanish army is in disarray now. Dutch still look okay, they're bringing over more chasseurs and stuff. I'm glad that the stakes don't kill your own men because these chasseurs just run through a whole bunch of them. They've got big units here though, have the, uh, the, the Dutch, they are ready for any incident, but now because those cavalry have pulled away, we are about to see a charge from the Swedes here onto the Dutch. The Dutch can form square, though. Brace, man, form square! They did not. They did get a volley off, though, right at the last minute. That did, in fact, break the cavalry, so it does not matter. But really good observation there by the Swedes to try that. But, I mean, it would have been maybe better to go for some of the other units. Maybe these sappers, they certainly can't form square. I mean, most of the line through there can form square, so it's, uh... Cavalry's not really a threat to them, I guess. Grenadiers here, yeah, there's... It seems like they're making some progress over there, but not, uh... Not too much just yet, the Dutch. Yes, I mean, the Prussian, like, core here, as we'll call it, and then also, the, like, the French... Uh, the Italians over here, sorry, yes. The French and the Italians are making progress on this center, other center, Swedish army. Whether it'll be an... They'll get, whether they'll get there in time to help the, uh, the Spanish and the Dutch, I don't know. They might be beaten before the other armies arrive. We'll have to see. But the Swedes are holding on for now. They've still got a decent amount of cavalry and we're seeing a charge here. On to the Dragoons. The dismount Dragoons are being charged. Let's see how they do in combat. Dragoons are going to do okay. Losing slightly. I think they're trying to get into the building. Yeah, they are. They're actually trying to fight the units inside the building as well. Taking on two units at once. I don't know if these Dragoons will manage it. They may get forced out here. Look at this shape. This is a cool little unit. The Swedes also not looking great on morale, though. With the Fusiliers of the Guard of the Hess. I mean, they can put one volley into these... Swedes, that might break them. And the Italian troops now arriving. They're putting pressure onto this Swedish flank. They've turned to face the Italians. But they're getting shot front from the in the front by the Italians and in the flank by the main French army. And that flank is starting to crumble. And we're seeing a desperate Swedish charge here from cavalry. Squares form. Riders go flying. Oh my gosh. The Swedish cavalry breaks just like that. And now we're seeing Swedish reinforcements arrive because they've helped defeat the Spanish. They're turning troops to turn and face the army of the center that is the main French army. I mean, they're hit, being hit by guns, though. These are big eight pounders here. They're just putting chunks into these Swedish infantry here. They've got to get much closer. The French might need to send some resistance up to stop this uh, infantry push here, though, because they will eventually take these guns out. They'll shoot the crew. Looks as like the Dragoons are still fighting in here. These guys just are relentless. They won as well. I don't know if they'll beat the units in combat in the actual building, but they are kicking out the Swedes bit by bit here. Let's go back over and see how the Dutch are doing. The Dutch are, in fact, just uh, having a war of attrition in these streets. Seems that is the case. Seems like... 
Sweet decides to retreat after their initial progress here against the Spanish because they realize they desperately need to get troops over here to support their allies in their plight. And my god, do they. Prepare to fire for the Emperor! Viva the Emperor! So all you can hear the shouts going up, and the Italians are on the way. I never thought I'd ever see the Italians be the most feared army on the battlefield, but they are. Here they come. Villatez, Grenadiers, Grenadiers of the Guard, they're all preparing. And the Swedes are dashing over. They're like, men, prepare. The Italians are coming. They've already destroyed one of our armies. Don't let them destroy another. We must avenge our brothers. Looks like the French have been stalled here. They're losing, starting to lose units. Morale is starting to take a hit. Looks like the general here is getting hit hard. He's also taking casualties. These uh, Spanish units here might want to move up, maybe try and flank the Swedish push here, perhaps. See this big Chevalier Lancer unit come up now. They also might want to think about supporting over here. Another cavalry charge coming from Sweden. Where's this one today? This one will be aimed at the guns here. So these eight pounders are about to be silenced. And here we go. These guns weren't quite prepared. Oh, there you go. Boost the charge. They were already low on morale with these guns. And now they're very much gone. And they're going to go on to the next one here. Good target to go on for. Can they get it? These Swedish cavs do, in fact, break before they can quite get these uh, artillery pieces. They might. Oh, they did, in fact, break it. There you go. The guard artillery is gone. We still have one left over here. Four pounder. And they're just trying to put holes into the. Uh, to the Swedes. I mean, I don't know why there hasn't been a counter charge to by the Chevalier. Oh my gosh. There's a lot of Swedes here. There's a line of Swedes waiting. Honestly, could be reliant on the Italians here to break through. I mean, they certainly have the numbers to, to try it. And they've probably got the, the quality as well. They've got a lot of, like, Carabineers, got a lot of Grenadiers. They can take this building, the French and the Italians, and they can use it as a firing position just to fire onto the lines left and right of them. And they're charging going on. The Carabineers, they're sick of fighting with guns. They want to use their bayonets. They don't want to run too much, so they'll get worn out. These guys are already active. Unit is dead, sir. Here we go, Carabineers the guard. They're going in. They've actually managed to get through the skirmishes. There you go, they annihilated them. They should break these guys, yep. And now they're going to go straight into the Swedes here. Looks like they will. Morale for the Swedes took a bit of a hit there. Italians just can't, don't fear anything. They're going in after everyone. And this is allowing a big flank to now happen. Velite is coming up. We've got Velite Grenadiers as well. We have so many good units here. And the Swedes are in fact getting encircled here as well. You can see there's the, the French arm here, the Italian arm, the much bigger arm, swinging around. The Grenadiers are getting hit hard now, though. They may break here. I don't know. They haven't lost enough. Morale needs to get up, though. The morale's a little low. Here we go. More Swedish infantry being thrown in. Now, here we go. The big infantry arm starts to arrive. More Carabineers, the guard going in. And the Italians are winning in this line battle here as well. Looks like they're going to possibly break both these units. If they can do it, a big one there. There you go. Got one. Can they get the other? I imagine they can. There you go. Morale is gone. They need to either move on to the next ones or retreat. 
because the Swedes have got plenty more troops setting up as you can see. They're preparing to fire and it seems that the Swedes are going to carry on this fight. They're going to go and fight the way the Italians want to fight and that is with a bayonet. These grenadiers here look like, these carabiniers here look like they're retreating because they are tired, they're exhausted. Really well played there by the, uh, the Italian player. Cycling out his weak troops, laying them rest. And the Italian setting up. We've got Swedish Cav coming in, though. They're coming after the Dragoons here of the Royal Guard and the Italian Dragoons. And they bit off more than they can chew because those Italian Dragoons have chewed them up. Maybe we're going for the guns as well. There is a three pounder here. Just like a, uh, a German three pounder. And unfortunately, those Italian carabineers bit off more than they can chew. But we are seeing a charge here from the Swedish. They look like they're going to carry on this fight. They want to carry on fighting in their melee. Going after the carabineers that did retreat. The Swedes break. So the other ones might break this uh, carabineer. We need to get the Dragoons in here to charge these units that are not forming square. Do that and they could break, what, four or five units here? They've broken another unit here, it seems. We've got French cavalry charging in on this side. We've got the Chevaliers that are going in. Smashing into infantry over here. Breaking them. The Spanish are starting an offensive here as well, along with the Dutch. Everyone on the French side now is making progress, and I believe it's all because of the Italians. They're doing great stuff today. The Italians arriving on the battlefield. It's set into motion a great offensive. The Spanish need to just open fire, and they can start to do some damage. The Chevrolets can flank around. The Swedish are starting to capitulate on this side here. We've got the Italian Dragoons, the Royal Guard here, breaking stuff. The General's in the front line. Yeah, a lot of these like, land bear units here being broken. Never a good sign. They can't form square. They're just not safe. Square's getting fired upon here as well by artillery. Goons keep chopping away. They must have some incredible kills. The general's in here as well. For Sweden. Might be a second Swedish general about to fall here. Well, he will at least break. There you go, he's broken. Don't know if the uh, this Italian cavalry will pursue. But there you go, a second Swedish army gone. Can the Swedes on hold on and defeat the Spanish and the Dutch? I don't know. It's going to be a tough one. But they fought hard. The Swedes have really fought hard. Spanish line infantry getting ready here. There's some Dutch line infantry as well. Seems that like the Dutch have been forced back here, and we're going to see a charge from them against the Landwehr. Landwehr not looking great on morale and breaking very quickly. And they're going to rejoin their lines, and yeah, even though they've retreated. French look like they're in a solid position here. And here we go. We Morale is starting to shatter here for the Swedes. Look at that. I mean, they're starting to drop much quicker now.
These look like a bit of a guard, you know, a grenadier unit, just with like how they're uniformed, so they look a lot more suave. We have killed their general, Another general has fallen. Oh, that's the one that the Italians were dealing with. Fair enough. The Italians, by the way, still in good strength. Still got a lot of men. Looks like they're clearing up a few isolated Swedish units that are out here. We've got some uh, Chevaliers here. Looks like they're trying to deal with a unit that's trying to form square. Looks like it might just about him. What they need is one of these infantry units here to, uh, to charge and break it. But they, I mean, the morale's not looking great here. They may break this unit. They're taking a lot of casualties though, these Chevaliers here. Shots going in, and that should break the Swedes, even though he's doing a lot of damage to the Chevaliers. They lost a lot of men, but they're still healthy. The Swedes here have been defeated. And now the Spanish can move on to support their Dutch allies, who look like they're also just about to defeat the remains of the Swedes, who've actually charged some cavalry here. And it looks like it's the last hurrah for the Swedes, who are now being defeated wherever they are. It's a, been a tough fight. The Swedes certainly put up a good fight. And like I said, it's been a fairly close one. I mean, the Italians come out with really good numbers, but the Dutch and the Spanish can't say the same to them. And I mean, the Swedes did some really good moves and make some cavalry and grenadier charges. And there you go, breaking all of them. And I can't see what's left. I mean, I think there's a unit just yet outside this building. I think they're ready to go into it. It's a grenadier unit by the looks of it. We've still got a general here. He looks like he's going to do a glorious charge of glory. Grenadiers of the, uh, of the Royal Guard of Spain. They've just been defeated by some infantry in it here. Yeah, the general, he's moving forward. He might get shot in a minute by a load of uh, musket fire, but apart from that, he's optimistic. There you go, he's going to get routed. You know, I thought those uh, Voltigares of the Royal Guard there have done the job, routed them. And it leaves just a couple of units left. I mean, what is left over here? There's still a Swedish unit that's returned. Looks like the Italians are going to turn around and deal with that. Just a little old unit that's going to try and rush this building by the looks of it. Maybe they'll form square, who knows. But the Swedes look like they're going to make it difficult. They look like they're getting themselves inside this building. Well, this unit wasn't inside the building, but this one is. It's just standing guard here. So that means a big ass building, you can get a lot of guys in there. But we'll just fast forward and wait for the uh, wait for the French to defeat those remaining Swedes. Because we know what the outcome is now. The Swedes are going to lose this one, unfortunately, as they uh, they charge in here against the French, doing what they need to do. And there you go. It looks like the building's been captured. Oh, that's by the uh, the Italians all the way up here. They're just denying, I guess, the. Uh, the Swedes from getting into this building. It's not as bad idea, to be fair. I thought it was the building down in the south by Stralsund. They have actually, as I say, just taken it, that, that though. So I think this might be the last combat here. So we'll just uh, fast forward while we wait for the, the Swedes to break. But, I mean, that should happen pretty soon. They're getting shot on the flank and in the front. I mean, yeah. And then no generals as well. And there you go. They are broken. And the Swedes are defeated at the Battle of Stralsund. History has been recreated. Or Siege of Stralsund, I should say. The... History has been recreated, and it has gone very, very well for the French, who probably, oh, they certainly lost more than a thousand this time. They lost a thousand in this army alone. Johnny Le Buffoon here, who was sending in, from his perspective, I believe, playing as the Prussian-like corps, the 1806, which is the closest to uh, the actual historical date of 1807. Um, so yeah, well done to him, well done to Lornim, who was playing as the Spanish army. I mean, he actually got the least kills, but put up a good fight nonetheless. Um, well done to Angry Peasant, who got over 3,000 kills as the Italian army. Really well done. Uh, that Italian army got out with, like, a lot of men left as well. And Richard Lionheart playing as the Dutch corps as well. So well done to all them. Well done to Sniper Smith, to Bagration, Seth, and Flux, who are all playing as the Swedes. They put up a good fight. I mean, um, Bagration and Sniper both getting near around 1,000. So they did very, very well. We'll quickly have a look at some of the unit stats. 
And as you can see here, I mean, the most kills for Johnny's army was in fact a four pounder R3, 149 kills. Um, infantry doing okay, but nothing insane. But yeah, there are his kills if you want to have a look at them. But anyway, guys, that is the Siege of Stralsund. I hope you did enjoy, and I will see you in the next one.